We've played six and a half hours so far and we haven't even completed one line yet. What did you choose, Sigma? I'm so sorry. You didn't see me much push the button? No. Huh? Well, you'll know in a moment. What you want to do after that is up to you. You can come with me if you want, or you can stay here. Your choice. That's as good as saying you chose Betray. Yeah. <laughs> I grinned and headed toward the display. I really didn't want to choose Results the Betray. from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Or should I just choose the betray option every time? And then once I've done all the betrays, then I'll go back and do the all, all the allies. That's an option I can do. That way I feel better for the second half of the game. Yeah. The other's done betray, betray, ally, ally. Although we have nine, I would hope... What's our name? Sigma and Clover don't go through the door. But, looking at the flow chart, Looks like they do. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. I'm sorry, Quark. What did you do, Clover? I'm sorry, Alice. Sorry. It wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't Clover. Sigma, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Care to explain this, then? What's there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. Of course he is. What? Are you going with him, Clover? I... I... When they all turned to look at Clover, I made a m made my move. My feet pounded across the metal floor of the warehouse as I ran for the number nine door. Hey, wait! He'd have to do better than shout if he wanted to stop me. It was closer. I was almost there. I took one last running leap and slammed into the wall. The unlocking device right in front of me. With a yell of triumph, I threw the lever down. The door began to open. A heavy metallic grinding noise filled the room. Son of a bitch actually did it? His voice sounded almost surprised. Yeah. I turned to face him. Sorry, but it looks like this is goodbye. Sigma. Don't worry. I'll go to the police as soon as I get out and I and come back with help. I'm not going to just leave you all here to die. Don't give me that shit. I know a liar when I see one. I would hope to be able to believe Sigma. I would not believe Dio, Dio if he was the one that left. Really? Maybe you should get a get your eyes checked. 
Are you guys just gonna let him run off like this? No way. I can't allow that. He took advantage of a sick kid. Yeah, and I feel extremely terrible for it. He's just a coward. Agreed. I also agree. That's it then. Let's get him. Ready? Yeah. He's toast. Just leave it to us. <laughs> hey, now. Don't do anything you'll regret. This door only opens once, you know. If you stop me, then... Give it up! Charge! I spun back around to face the door. There it was, right in front of me. Freedom. I leapt for it. Or at least I tried. It happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly my cheek was pressing against was being pressed against the cold steel floor of the warehouse. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Let me go. Let go of me, goddammit. I could feel something huge, heavy, and metal pressed against my back. Kay had to be holding me down. I flailed and kicked, but it didn't do any good. What are you doing? You're just killing yourselves. The door only opens once. If I don't... I know. Go, Clover. Huh? You're the only one of us with 9 BP. Nobody else can get out. I do trust Clover to do the right thing as well, but I would hope that Sigma was going to as well. They just don't believe him. But... This is an order from your commanding officer. Oh? You are to escape from this facility. Once you've accomplished that, call for help. That's... Stop complaining and go! Just go, Clover. One of us. Closes, it's all over. One of us has to go. You go. None of us will get out of here alive. I clearly can't go. Leave. The door had already begun to close. The space was narrowing quickly, but was still wide enough for a single person to make it through. You didn't leave me much choice. I couldn't see what happened, what had, what had happened, but I heard enough to guess. Alice had shoved Clover through the door. Looking up, I could see Clover's feet just beyond the doorway. Go, Clover! Stop arguing! I can't! You have to! The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. I guess I could have finished that line on Friday. Oh well. It's fine. Yep. Which ending has that been? Uh, hasn't lit up any of them?
It is definitely an ending, but it didn't light any up. What is that? Ah, that's where we went through the green door. Ah. Oops. There we go. Should I jump? I know that decision is betray or ally. I know that decision is betray or ally. That is the choice of door that we went through. Should I jump back to that one? Do a different door and... Do all the betrays first, and then go back and do all the allies. I might do it that way. So we'll head back here. I went through the yellow door last time. Let's go through the cyan door. I'm thinking I'd like to go with Alice and take the cyan door. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, sure. That means Quark and I are getting paired with Luna. I don't have a problem with that. Miss Luna's nice. That's fine with me too. We'll take the yellow door then, right? That means Clover and I will take the purple door with Tenmyoji. Oh, I wanted to go with Alice. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me? Well, no, it's not wrong. Okay, what is it then? Well, you're really gonna make me say it? You're... Old? How rude. What? Why well, you... I'll have you know I'm as spry as I was when I was 20. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. She's not wrong, he is old though. He is a grandparent. Nine, eight, seven. We don't have time for this. We need to go. <sighs> You're getting an earful later, young lady. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Is this just a hallway? The door said crew quarters. People probably stayed here. There are numbers on each of the doors. One, so there are room one, room two, two room three, three etc. and four. Why not just say room four? Because there's only four, isn't there? I guess we might as well start by opening one of them. Looks like we were right. This place really says someone lives here. Yeah, there's a bed and everything. Yep, but who would be spending the night in a place like this? It looks too plain to be a guest room. This room probably belonged to a laborer, or some kind of blue-collar worker. I guess this is where the people who worked here stayed. But what were they working on? Beats me. Why would I know that anyway? I don't know what this place is any more than you do. Your guess is as good as mine. Do you think it might be a coal mine? Hmm. Or maybe they're drilling for oil or something. I don't know about that. What do you think this oh, 
hall leads to. You want to go have a look? Yeah. Yep, not gonna open. No luck. Looks like it's locked. No getting out of the hallway until we can unlock it then, I guess. Yep. Looks that way. It sure does. All right, let's split up and have a look at these cabins. Zero told us that there are key cards we can use to open the AB rooms. Maybe there's one hidden in here somewhere. So let's get started. With a nod, Fi and Alice both moved off to start looking. Fi headed to room four and Alice went to room two. Left me with room one. Wow. It's four numbers. Well, four spots to enter numbers. A phone. Is it connected? Highly doubtful. This is, appears to be internal line button, to be the internal line button. One probably means room one. That's the room I'm in right now, so I would probably call here. Actually, that probably just wouldn't do anything. I mean, it's not like you can call yourself with only one phone. But there's no harm in trying, right? Nope, nothing. Pressing the one button is probably pretty pointless. Hmm, where should I call next? This appears to be the internal line button. Two must mean room two. Maybe this will connect to Alice. Let's give it a shot. Who is this? Oh, hey Alice. So you are there. Sigma? Is that you? Yeah. Where are you calling from? Room 1. That's right next door. Why did you call me? You could just walk... Wait a minute. What's wrong? There's something on the display. Not here. It says 25 asterisk asterisk asterisk. So 25 is the first two numbers. 25 asterisk 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 Do you think it's a clue? I think so. Hmm. Well, I'm going to look around this room a little more. I'll see you later. We'll skip three because no one's in that room. The internal line button. I bet four means the connect to room four. That's the room fires in, right? Might as well try pressing it. Who's this? Just me. Better than justice, I suppose. Really? You can do better than that. I'm hanging up. Come on, wait. What do you want? And where are you calling from? Room one. Ah. I guess they have some kind of internal line. Seems like it. So what is it you... Huh? What's this? Agricola, Agricola 9-2. Agricola? I didn't know you were into German style board game farming simulations. What? Whoops, I meant asterisk, asterisk, nine, two. How on earth could you get those two mixed up? That's what it says on the phone's display. Hmm. Nine, two. Maybe it's a clue. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to get back to searching this room. Call me if you find anything else.
This is room 3. No tape has been inserted. The answering machine will not function. What does that mean? Hmm. Where should I call next? Okay, so 2592 or 93 was it? I've already forgotten. Nine two. Twenty five nine two calls room three. There is no phone number associated with this button. What? That's weird. Why can't I call room three? Okay. There's the safe in room one. Here's another safe. Damn, it's locked. I think this panel here is what like, unlocks it, but nothing happens when I push the buttons. Is that a keyhole on the top there? Hmm, I probably need a key or something. There's a book on top of the desk. Let me see here. It's called... How the hell do I pronounce that? Schrodinger's cat. There's a kitty on the cover. Isn't that just... Precious? Whoops, there it goes. Still can't help talking like a cat when I talk about a cat. Really? Let's see what's in here. Looks like all sorts of science-y stuff. I have no idea what any of this means. I don't think this is part of any kind of puzzle, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Gonna leave it here and he doesn't put the book back? What's this? I don't think it's a stain. A triangle? A leaf thing? and another triangle. What's that thing at, on the right? It looks like the silhouette of a fox. How is that a silhouette? Oh, I suppose nose and ears. A desk car? Looks like the top's made of glass. What's the deal with this drawer though? There's a drawer sticking out from the desk, but there's nothing on it. Since the top of the desk is made of glass, I should be able to see anything I put in the drawer. I've got nothing yet. Huh? What's this? There's a human silhouette drawn in white on the bed. The area where the left knee would be has been ripped out of. I wonder if that means anything. Yep. I've searched that room. Let's go to three now. Oh no, can't. go to two then. I think Alice is investigating this room. Oh well, I don't think she'll mind if I go in. Sigma? What are you doing here? Just thought I'd come check on, check up on you. Oh, well, I haven't found anything interesting. Left arm. Damn, another one. What do you mean, another one? I saw one of these silhouettes earlier. It had a torn part too, although it was a different part. The area around the left forearm has been torn. 
Do you think that's a clue of some sort? Probably. Nothing interesting, eh? There's something on top of the desk. It's a little piece of metal. A stick with three rings on it. Am I supposed to insert it somewhere? Another one of these without the lock. There's the phone. When I call the internal line, the display there said something right. Yes, it said 25. It's blank now though. Perhaps the display only works when the phone is making a receiving call or receiving a call. Yes, I think so. When you make the internal calls, the phone shows 25. Okay, so I can't actually use this phone at all. Let's try the next room. Fire should be checking this room out. I think I'll see how she's doing. This one's got a photo, a uh, picture on the wall. Oh, hello, Sigma. Find anything? Not really. Oh? By the gods, I never thought I'd see one. Uh, what? You scratch off the silver part with a coin so you can see the naughty stuff. Okay. It's the ultimate in interactive poster technology. What teenage boy doesn't dream of something like this? The excitement, the anticipation, and finally the reveal. You look pretty excited. Now it's also not got the hole. Look, there's something on the tail top of the desk. Yeah, it's a piece of metal. Kind of cylind cylindrical. There we go, got my key. Right, Lee. Me. Man, not again. Again? This silhouette. Oh, did you see one in another room? Yeah, I saw another one just like this. It had a hole torn right around the ankle too. No, it had a hole, but it was somewhere else. Hmm. It was on one of the other. There's two spots I can use or we'll try this key. First is door three. Damn, there are handcuffs on the door. I can't open it. Huh? Wait a minute. This key. That's it. Yes. Goodbye handcuffs. Shouldn't have any more door problems now. And there's the other arm. Um, this is just like the other ones. It's ripped too, but in a different place this time. Oh, a blade. There's something on here. A box cutter. A large box cutter. It's pretty heavy, actually. That one's... That one's got the lights on. Oh! What? That happened really easy. I guess it wasn't locked. What's this? It's all shiny. Is this aluminium foil? There's so much of it though. Must be some kind of industrial size roll. This is way more than you'd 
use in any normal kitchen. I wonder how much there is. 